But let's get to tonight's presentation. Uh, Sarah Mayhew is here. She is an international award-winning professional illustrator who specializes in manga. Am I saying that right? Manga? Yeah. Not manga. I think you can do either. How do the Japanese correct. say this? I manga. imagine manga. Manga. I believe that's manga. Okay, we're going to say manga. Yeah, say manga. And leave that say manga. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she produces artwork for publishers as well as creating original manga titles. Her series, Secrets of Sorcerers, was named Best Comic for Teens by International Anime and Manga Festival. She was featured in Applied Arts Magazine's Young Blood article uh, about new talent commanding our attention. In 2007, the Ontario, that's Ontario, Canada, not Ontario, California, the Ontario Arts Council awarded her the Northern Arts Grant. Currently, she is also working on her new series, Legend of the Tsar. Please welcome Sarah Mayhew. Yay! Requires us to withhold belief, 
to accept ideas based on evidence and change our minds when faced with new information. Perhaps most importantly, it reminds us that we need to be extra critical of ideas that we are emotionally invested in. I find this is where it can become difficult to introduce people to skepticism. It can be difficult, unpleasant, and just plain scary to honestly rethink ideas we are attached to. Most people just don't respond well to skepticism. There's a little quote of someone who told me, Sarah, it's fine that you need evidence for things, but some of us just have an inner knowing of how things work. Mm, that's not arrogant. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, unfortunately, it seems that magical thinking is simply far more appealing. Um, but why? Um, <clears throat> spirituality and pseudoscience are easy. Um, this panel actually doesn't really have anything to do <laughs> with what I'm talking about, but I thought it was cute. Uh -huh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago, there was a conference about people who had uh, captured and killed <laughs> Sasquatch, and it was just like a deluxe Bigfoot costume and a block of ice with like chicken guts in it or whatever. So <laughs> here's poor Han Solo at the Wiki press conference, but luckily it was Costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Subjective experience is valued as most important, typically in in New Age spirituality. Uh, placing oneself at the oops, wrong button. Placing oneself at the center of reality, so that our own opinions are paramount. Even to the point where everyone is entitled to their own facts, avoiding the <laughs> scary possibility of being wrong. Um, it seems allergic to mystery. Explanations are created for every conceivable phenomenon. Um, as Carlin McLaren, a uh, former New Age leader, explains in an article she wrote, um, Bridging the Chasm Between Two Cultures, um, she wrote, Everything in my New Age culture comes complete with an answer, a reason, a source. Every action, emotion, health symptom, dream, accident, birth, death, or idea here has a direct link to the influence of the stars, chi, past lives, ancestors, energy fields, interdimensional beings, anagrams, divas, fairies, spirit guides, angels, aliens, karma, god, or the goddess. So, it doesn't like mystery. Um, it creates explanations for everything. Um, but this type of magical thinking appeals to our drive to be happy and addresses our fears and desires. We want to feel in control. We want to separate the world into good versus evil. <coughs> because we want answers to why bad things happen to good people and bad deeds go unpunished. And we want an easy way to cope with our own mortality. And a great deal of storytelling and mythology is devoted to dealing with these fears and desires. My goal in my work as a uh, writer and illustrator is to create stories that attempt to show readers the qualities of science-based thinking as virtues. The characters of these stories attempt to be objective and are cautious of human-centric ideas. They want to know facts, even if they risk conflicting with their own opinion, and are comfortable with the unknown. What drives these characters are a desire to understand and not simply a goal of being happy. They live like we do in a universe which is indifferent to their well-being, and that's fine. 